a city of angels with the palm trees I see the lights, camera actions all around me I'm trying to win now, they used to doubt me I'm trying to win now, they used to doubt me Cause I'm in LA with it, for the vibes I got a Californian tea up on the ride They ask me how I'm living, I'm living right, yeah Now is you with me cause there ain't no special size, yeah Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. John Lopez UK here today, and today I'm going to show you guys some of the new uh, police designs that we've got in FCRP. So I know I've been gone for a while, I'm sorry for that. So very, very sorry for uh, all the inconvenience. I've, uh, too much personal stuff has been going on. So anyway, I've got a load of police cars, and uh, yes, yeah, so we've got loads of new police vehicles in the server. Last time I showed you, we had very little. But, you know, we've got new ones, so let's just start off with, um... Right, let's start off with the first one, which is the... Uh, we're going to start off with BCSO, then we're going to go to LSPD before uh, going into San Andreas State Troopers. So the first car we have is the Charger Patrol Unit. So this is the patrol unit, um, this is the light setup it's got. I have a light mod on right now, but I am uh, I am installing a new one sooner, um, as this one really ruins everything of my frame rate and everything. But this is what the patrol unit looks like. Wyatt with his delivery, Blaine County Sheriff. Yep. All right, supervisor uh, version. Right, so this is, this is the supervisor version with no push bar, less, and then it's, it's a slick top. And the lights are actually a bit brighter than the patrol unit. So that's this. Next up, we have the Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. We have the patrol unit. And like I said, I'll just show you guys the entire list. All right. All right, so this here is the patrol unit uh, for Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Um, this is what it looks like, uh, push bar with the wrap around, we've got the light bar up top, red and blues, this is what it looks like, like I said I'm getting new light mods so it should look better sooner, and this is the, these are the takedowns, alright, supervisor livery, they're not actually liveries, I'm, I'm just, it's just, uh, it's just a supervisor variant of it, with this is what the supervisor version lo looks like. Which, now that I'm thinking about it, I should really request for uh, hubcaps because I do feel like they get those. Anyway, uh, the Ford Police Interceptor Utility, 2016 model of course. Right, this is what it looks like, Blaine County Sheriff's Department. Not too bad. I try not to leak these spawn codes. The other ones were, uh, we just didn't care about them, actually. So, because we knew they were getting replaced sometime soon. So, yeah, this is the Blaine County Sheriff's Office uh, Ford Police Interceptor Utility. Alright, and this one is the supervisor livery, which, like I said, I'm going to have to speak with upper management to see if we can get hubcaps in for uh, the supervised delivery vehicles because these are sort of, they're not preset, they're just, this is what they prefer. Slick top, very minimal lighting. And no ALPR cameras. Anyway, we got the Ford Police Interceptor 2, which is the 2020 variant. Patrol unit looks like this. Yep, this is the patrol unit, just to show you guys around. Yep, takedowns. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, supervisor livery. Yeah, so like I said, the hubcaps just make it look much better. It make it looks makes it look more official, as we say it. But you know, this is uh this is design overall. The lights in the rear are actually much brighter on this one than most of the other ones, but it's nice. Right, we've got the Ram. I'm not certain what Ram this is. I don't keep track of American pickups too often. I know the F-150 and the Silverado. I don't know anything else. I don't even know the trim models for those. But anyway, Ram patrol unit. 
This is what it looks like. Those are the rims. And uh, let's go to the rescue unit. Alright, this is the rescue unit. It's got mostly the same things except it's got the box in the back. It's got the LPR cameras. And it's got much more. Yeah, so that's this one. Um, supervised delivery. Or I should say supervised layout. Is what it looks like. Now in the rear we do... Uh, we are losing the rear... Um, the rear light uh, on the window, but that's fine because we've got the huge place for evidence and everything. We also have nice hubcaps on there, even though they are very low textured. I've got to go fix that. But you know, NVE should fix that soon. Uh, and then we got the Silverado. We have the crime scene investigator version of it. Let's spawn that in. Yep, this is what it looks like. It's got the standard wheels. Those are not custom. Those are actually the stock ones. And this is just what it looks like. Crime scene investigator variant. Just, you know, here to collect evidence. And that's basically what it does. Right. After that, we got the patrol unit. Yep, this is the patrol unit. So we've got the light bar up top. You know, all your average uh, bells and whistles for the patrol units. And this one doesn't actually come with a push bar. Alright, and then we've got the rescue unit. So this one actually does come with the push bar because it has a winch and everything, along with the the rack in the rear of the vehicle, uh, or I don't know what to call it. Actually, so we put the trunk in the boot of the car. That's what this is for the Americans who don't understand. Right. So this is the supervisor livery. Uh, this supervisor layout I should say as you see standard wheels everything standard no push bar it's just very minimal but it's nice next we have the Tahoe patrol unit it's also very nice yeah no front plate but you know that's fine light bar up top that's what this one is. And then we've got the supervisor variant. This is a supervisor variant. It's got... They're quite dirty, but I'm not going to... I'm not even going to bother to wash them. I'm not going to wash them because, you know, it's just not going to help. Anyway, this is what it looks like. No takedowns on the light bar, of course. This is the, this is just my group six patrol car. I, when I do group six, I use this one. Just personally, my, just, I just personally use the FPIU just because I just prefer it. All right, LS, Los Santos Police Department vehicles. So we've got the first, so we've got the first one, which is the LSPD Charger. This is the gang unit, of course. We have the SRT body kit, but this is what it looks like. And it does have really, really quick flashes in the front. Very nice, we've got the gang plate number and everything, and um, yeah, it's nice, it's the Hellcat, good. After that we have the detectives uh, for this Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. This is what it looks like, it's got hubcaps, it's got all your typical bells and whistles that you find, except uh, it's got very minimal lighting with just the deck light, the mirror lights, uh, the side lights, and the rear light bar or traffic advisor as you'd say. Right, we have got the gang unit Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. Yeah, now you'll notice a, a pattern with all these cars. They're, um, the gang units are all red. And look, so this one's got the visor light bar, it's got the grill lights, it's got all the average stuff, it does blend in like a civilian. And then after that we've got the patrol unit. Right, so this is, a, this is the patrol unit. It's based off LAPD's um, police cars. I'm going to head outside to check and see if it's day. No, it's not. It's not day. Let's head back in. But this is based off LAPD. Um, it's not too bad. 
I mean, I like it. It's nice. It's a nice design, and uh, so we got the push bar up front. We've got the we've got the spotlights, which do move around. If you are wondering, yes, they do move. I can, yeah. I can move them around to view everywhere if I want to, as you see. Yeah. Right, and then after this we've got the Rockford Hills patrol variant. So this one's very similar similar to the regular patrol unit. It's uh, Rockford Hills on it along with that on the boat somewhere. Or is it not on this one? Anyway, there's no push bar because it's Rockford Hills. It's not like... Uh, I'm not going to... You know what? I'm not going to discriminate against uh, low-income communities. But, you know, it's not like Davis. So, we have that. We also have hubcaps because it's not like more duty and stuff like that. Along with that, we do have takedowns up there. I just don't know how to activate them. After that, we have the SRU unit. Better known as the special uh, response team. Or something. I forgot what it really does stand for. But, um, you know... It's got, it blends in, but it's all black. It's got that nice tone to it. It's nice. After that, we have the unmarked livery. Not liv not livery, I should say variant. Um, so this one actually, um, so how this one's gonna work is basically, you have this car and uh, you can make it whatever color you want, dark blue. You wanna go for some green, go ahead. It starts off gray, you can change whatever color you want. But you know, Unmarked livery. Right, after that you've got the gang unit Ford Police Interceptor Sedan. This is what it looks like. Red, of course. With the visor light bar. We've got the deck light. We've got the front lights as well. We've got the rear light bar. You know, get typical gang unit. We also have the patrol unit. Which looks like this with the steelies, of course. LAPD and uh, yeah, this one doesn't have a Rock uh, Rockford Hills livery as they don't use the uh, police interceptor stands. I should just say it's Taurus, but I don't. I just don't feel like saying it. So yeah, and then of course we got the SRU. It's not too bad, yeah. It's not too bad. Uh, all blacked out with just. Spotlights uh, both put inwards, but it's very nice, very stealthy. After that, we've got the unmarked livery. This is your average slick top, uh, all of it combined except steelies with the push bar up front with dual speakers from Wellin, and you've got you can change whatever color you want. After that, we have the FPIU gang unit. This is the gang unit FPIU. Uh, it's going to be all red. I actually quite like this one. It's really nice. It's just, the FPIU is like, it's it's special to me. The car is actually special to me. I'm gonna head out and just drive over to the Mission Road station. I'm actually I'm headed the wrong way. Wait. Where the bloody hell am I? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. If I remember... Yeah, yeah, it's great. I'm not looking at the map, so... And my frame rate's dropping like crazy because we're entering the Los Santos police area. Mission Row Station, of course. Alright, so let's just pull in. I know my frame rate's gonna suck, but then again, I just need to show you guys liveries and stuff like that, so it should all just be fine. Ah, uh, I, I just realized I'm still in no clip. Right, so this is the gang unit, of course. Very nice. Uh, the lighting isn't gonna be too well, but that that's fine. We've got the patrol unit. Yep. Really nice. It's got crime stoppers and stuff. You know, the average uh, patrol unit with the push bar and the light bar up top. Yeah. We have the Rockford Hills variant, which has hubcaps and um, Rockford Hills written on the boot of the car. 
along with some other bits, you know. No push bar, of course, it's not low income. We've got the SRU unit. All black stealthy uh, Ford Police Interceptor uh, utility. And we've got the unmarked livery. Yep, like I said, this one, you just make it whatever you want. I don't, I don't have any real suggestion for you. After that, we've got FPIU-2, which is the Ford Police Interceptor Sedan uh, 2020 variant. That's just, uh, yeah, this is the gang unit, although I'm sure we will never send this thing out into a gang area to use as a patrol car. But, you know, we've got this. We're also still deciding on number plates. But, you know, it's nice. It's nice. Got the red and blues up front. They're not the brightest, but, you know, I'll make them bright soon. Uh, yeah. We also have the patrol unit, which looks like this. Definitely looks amazing. I mean, I don't even know if LSPD, uh, no, LAPD has these yet, but these do look amazing. Um, yeah, Los Santos Police. All right, let's move on then. We got the SRU. You guys know the deal now. Hubcaps, actually. Hmm. I'll note that down. We need to get steelies for this. Now, I can change them if I want to. I just need to ha tell that everyone else now. Unmarked livery starts off silver. Of course. Right, and then we've got the Tahoe, uh, Tahoe units, and then we've got the state police. So, gang unit. Okay, so this is Tahoe 1. Uh, we've got the gang unit of this. Yeah, it's the... It's the Chevrolet Tahoe uh, police into uh, police package vehicle. Or actually, is this a pursuit package? I'm not too sure. We got the patrol unit as well. Not too bad. I'm not too much of a fan of the Tahoes. I just I'm gonna be honest. I'm not too much of a fan of these. It's just I, I like them. I mean, I respect people who own them. I like them. They're just not my style. We got the SRU unit. Yep. That's this one. Yeah, I'll show you guys around Mission Row um, later on. We've got this one, which is the Tahoe 2. We've got a gang unit. And then we've got the patrol unit. Yep, this is the patrol unit. What's odd about this one is the fact that... Um, You'll see a box occasionally pop up right around there. Somewhere around there. Yeah, you see the box. It just pops around. But, you know, it, it, it pops up once in a while. We don't have to do too much care about it. Uh, I don't know how to remove it, but, you know, the upper management will deal with that. We've got the SRU variant. Very nice, very stealthy. All black for escorts and stuff like that. That's what this one's for. I don't prefer Tahoes. I just... I don't know anything about them, to be honest. After that, we've got the San Andreas State Troopers vehicles. Uh, so first up, we've got the Bearcat. I don't even know what to say at this point. Yeah, I mean, it's a Bearcat, so... Yeah, so, and then after that, we've got the Caprice. Or actually, are these, yeah, these are my patrol cars, but, you know, I'll just, I'll just show you guys them. Since, you know, we just, you can modify them slightly in different ways. So we've got the Caprice, we've got the Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. And yes, I love that absolute shine, and the new light bars and everything. So, these are actually completely new models. Uh, the old ones got ended up getting scrapped just because, you know, they didn't look the best. So they were removed. But these are really nice. Um, after that, we've got... So this is the Crown Victoria. Oh, okay. This is my patrol caprice. If I was to go on patrol, I use this caprice. I just prefer it. I don't have 8, 2, 5 on the plate just because... I don't know. I haven't set this one up right, right just yet. So, yeah. It's a very nice vehicle. Would recommend the Caprice. I do really love the look on it. 
It's very, it's, I mean, it's Australian to be honest, but it's nice. It's definitely nice. After that, we've got the Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. Not too bad. State Trooper. It looks amazing. Um, I just like it, to be honest. Anyway, after that, we've got the Crown Victoria Police Interceptor, and this one's actually a classic one. Yeah, it's, it's, um, and it does have the, what is it? It's the, the bubble lights. I personally love these because how classic they look. That classic American nostalgia, but people do hate these. My training officer absolutely hated these, so whenever he gets pissed, I just bring these out. You know the deal. Anyway, we got the FPIS, which is actually the is the police interceptor sedan. The suspension on this model is actually much more different. I just want to point that out. People are actually using it. The suspension is like it's, it dips like crazy. But you know, it's not too bad. After all, state police. We've got the FPIU 2. So this is the FPIU 2. We've got the original FPIU, but that's out of... Uh, we don't have that right now, as that's actually being used for something else. A very special livery for a certain vehicle. So that's out. We've got the FPIU 2 here, though. Um... Which is real nice, you know, I, I mean, I wish, no, actually, it, it's nice, it's nice. After that, we got the Tahoe. Yeah, I've got no idea what this is about. Again, visor light bar, roof light, mounted light bar. I do like how this one's brighter than usual, but I'm just not a fan of it. And then, and then finally, we've got the Tahoe number two, which is the more modern variant of the Chevrolet Tahoe. Uh, pursuit package, of course, and this one is, yes, glitching like crazy. Right, those are, uh, those are all the vehicles I believe I covered, actually. We do actually have some other ones as well. Yeah, we've got a presidential Granger. I have no clue why the hell we have this, but we do. We also have a ladder truck for a San Andreas uh, fire department. I'll, I'll show these. I'll show these off in a different video, along with the raid van for stuff. You know, not too bad, but you know, it's nice. Right. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Those are all the well, those are all the police cars that we have for um, for you know uh, all the departments and stuff like that. I mean, there are uh, sub sub. Uh, those are like the main ones, the three main departments: Blaine County Sheriff, Los Santos Police. Um, you know, we do have Los Santos County uh, Sheriff as well, along with um, yeah, we do have that as well, but. Then again, those vehicles are different, and I'll show them at a different time. At this time, I don't need to show those vehicles off, but these are the main ones. The new, uh, the new liveries. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys around Mission Road Station next time. And even offer a uh, download link, actually, because, yeah. This is a huge improvement on the standard station. And, uh, yeah, I will be going in showing you guys around sometime. Anyway, this is John Lopez UK. And uh, cheers, and I hope to be making more videos much quicker in the future, actually. Sorry about all the wait. I really am. Right, guys. Cheers.